Hey guys, I'm Theo Johnson and I'm here to present you the Affinity Jam Session Miro Whiteboard. Okay, so there's a lot to this whiteboard. Uh, I'm going to zoom out here. So it looks complicated, but it's really not complicated. So I'm going to try to simplify this as easy as possible. Uh, right here you're going to find agenda, introductions, likes, dislikes, and challenges, user flow diagram, how might we statements, reconvene and share, and a debrief. So I made this session last approximately 90 minutes. Uh, that way, managers can use it, you know, accordingly in their daily lives and research or design practices. So, over here is the main workspace. Uh, you have like a main topic. So this was actually created uh, for Fly UX, which is from the UX Design Institute's project. So a great, re uh, a great way of representing design thinking. Um, so here we got the top the topic project title uh the jam session which pretty much just goes into you know the topic so mine was airline applications likes dislikes challenges uh we got the user flow so for instance the steps the user takes in booking a uh, flight through a mobile or desktop application and then the how might we statements we get into that in a little bit and then obviously resources, which can be used at any time during the jam session. Okay, so getting more into Miro. All right, so we got the resources, right? So these can be used at any time, okay? So user needs, uh, visual design challenges, user survey notes. Obviously anybody who does UX research or design knows that there is quantitative and qualitative surveys and lots of info we can get from our users. You know, we're building for the user. We're not building for us, we're building for the user. Uh, wants and needs, uh, a thing like that. So you're gonna see this, for instance, I'll give you an example, uh, the flight booking application, right? So why did people visit the airline task? Why did they do this? They wanted to book a flight, they wanted to cancel flight. This is all stuff that I made in using SurveyMonkey. So these are just, you know, questions I ask the users. Uh, what are some user needs? These can be from your usability testing notes, uh, you know, your video recordings, your user interviews, and so forth. Visual design challenges, these can be, uh, can be from recordings, and so forth, or just stuff people said in your surveys. And then just extra notes, so and, you know, feel free to take these and just expand them and put as many notes as you want. Okay, so the first step is getting into the likes, dislikes, and challenges. You got your main topic. Uh, for me, I was doing the flight booking app, so I did a competitive benchmarking on JetBlue and Delta Airlines, and I wanted to look at the likes, dislikes, and challenges of each. Um, you know, from there, the, the team would get together. Uh, you know, they they put their own notes down. They bring them. I actually bring their notes to the Miro session. So this meeting, uh, I'd recommend having the users, you know, review the topic before they come to the Miro session. That way they understand, okay, what are we doing today? It's not just, well, we're here. You know, I want, you know, want my, the people that help, that helped me on this, bring their notes with them and be able to, you know, collaborate and share their ideas. Um, so here you would just, you know, work as a team and you put your stickies below here. Obviously it's blank because this is the finished product. So, you know, JetBlue, for instance, if you noticed they're labeled here, but for instance, departing airport is already preset. So I know on, uh, you know, Delta, you know, there was, when you enter their site, you know, there was a thing that it took your location information and it already had your preset. So that was a like, we put that right here. So that's just kind of an example. Um, the team would go around and do that. Uh, each person, they would just put it in there. Uh, you know, that took, uh, was it 15 minutes? Just to double check. Uh, no, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, and then from there, we get into the user flow diagram. This would be the step by step process the user would go in booking the flight. It could be anything. It could be like, not, it doesn't have to be a, a flight booking app. It can be uh, logging into my email. Like, I don't know. What do they do? They have to click, you know, username, password, you know, and then. So there's like a bunch of different ways you can go about this, different tasks. Um, simply put, um, I had the team members, I had five members involved. We went around and did round robin format. So each person would have three to five sticky notes. 
and we would go around and put different sticky notes in the location. So enter flight origin and destination dates, review flight options, flight tier information, select departure and return flights, and then confirmation, which um, I didn't really have that a part of my testing. I just wanted to look at their seating options and reviewing flight options. Um, also, I forgot to mention that right in the beginning of the user flow session, uh, diagram session part two, you'd uh, talk about as a team what steps we should have in the user flow. So clarifying those user flow steps first is important. And then you'd you know put down the information. Just some you know examples here. Enter flight origin and destination date. So here's the notes that we have from the likes and dislikes from the board before. Home page appears simple. Date has been uh, selected as obvious. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, you just take what you had before and you'd put it right over in the user flow diagram. So you take your likes and dislikes and challenges and you put them over in how they would fit in the user flow. So after this, we get into the how might we statements. So uh, I use Zoom for this, uh, the collaboration on Zoom. Uh, I'm not, I can't answer the question on Google Hangouts or anything. I don't know if they have a split room feature, but on Zoom, there is a breakout room feature, which pretty much allowed me to, you know, we randomized rooms. We, um, we split into different teams and we tackled this how might we statement. So right here, there's a little explanation of how might we uh, link, just tells you how to do it. Uh, so the how might we statements, right? Here's an example, you know, how might we display flight factors without overloading the user? They're just design thinking ideas. Um, you don't necessarily have to use these ideas, but it's really good brainstorming exercise for the team. Um, so for instance, the split room feature, I think we had two two of us in one room and then three of us in the other room. So you know, two of us worked on this topic and then the other two worked on these two. And we came up with how might we statements. Simple as that. Um, and then, you know, actually after that, we would, you know, then again, reconvene, meet up, uh, you know, talk about the debrief of the project. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it looks complicated. I tried to simplify this as much as I could, but again, I mean, it's 20 minutes of the likes, dislikes, and challenges. You got your user flow diagram, uh, your how might we statements, reconvene and share your debrief. So also, if you want to extend these times and make them different, you go ahead. You know, But this is just a structure that I had that I actually have the video on YouTube. I recorded everything to see if I can get it to fit in 90 minutes, which it did, which is cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to email Miro uh, or me. Um, yeah, and, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.